$575,000. That's the average sales price of homes in the Wenatchee Valley. Hey everyone, this is the real estate market update for October 2024 throughout the Wenatchee Valley. And it's true, the average sales price hit an all-time high, well over a half a million dollars. So let me hear it in the comments how things are not affordable and everything's going to you know what because no one can afford a home, especially with interest rates. Let me know in the comments, how bad is it really? Because I'm seeing the numbers, it looks pretty bad, not very affordable. So why are prices going up and how long will they go up? We'll dive into that today in the numbers. But the first thing I noticed about all the numbers is all of them are going up. The average sales price is up. Sales are up. Sales are up 6% compared to last year. But you have to remember, last year sales were really, really low. So it's really 6% on top of something really, really low. So sales are actually misleading because there's not as much activity as you would think. So demand is actually lower. That makes sense because who in their right mind will buy a home in today's market with high interest rates and high prices? Well, only people that need to buy a home, that are moving here for jobs, that are relocating and paying for cash, or have a life, you know, a life choice and it's very impactful for them to buy a new home. So 6%, so sales, homes are still moving. Our team's doing really, really well. We're gonna sell upwards of 300 homes this year. So we are helping families. We're helping people buy homes 100%, but it's not as much as we saw in the previous years. And it's not as much in many homes as we would have seen like 10 years ago. Now with that inventory, new listings on the market, they're up 34%. Inventory is rising through September. I see it rising through the winter, which never happens. And it's actually misleading. I think inventory is a lot higher than reported. It's up 34%, but I think it's actually up 50% or 60%. Here's why. A lot of the listings did not sell. They went expired. That's what we say when a home's on the market for 180 days and the listing is expired. It goes off the MLS. Those aren't showing up, but we're seeing expires every single day, every single week. Normally you would think if you listed your home, it's going to sell no matter what. The market is going to bear it. It's going to be sold. So it didn't really matter what agent you chose for the job of selling your home. All you had to do is find any agent, get the best fee, and a home sold, sells itself. That doesn't happen anymore. Expires are happening left and right, especially homes over 800,000. Homes are sitting on the market and they're sitting for a lot longer and many of them aren't selling. Now some savvy sellers are saying, well, Instead of letting it expire, I'm just gonna cancel it. I don't have to sell this thing. I'm just gonna cancel it. I don't have a mortgage on it. I don't have to sell. I don't need the money. I'll just wait it out. So many people are canceling their listings. And I'm seeing this on second homes and vacation homes. So there's this shadow inventory of people that think they don't have to sell, but they would sell. So inventory is a lot higher than it really is. And these homes are gonna hit the market in the spring. I've talked to them on the phone. They said, hey Nick, we don't want to sell it right now. We don't have to, but we're going to relist it in the spring. So be ready. Inventory is going to really jump in the spring. It really will. And the only thing that would stop it is really low interest rates. And I just don't see that happening. So inventory is not stopping. It's going to continue to rise because homes aren't selling as fast and people are putting their homes on the market. Prices are up. Now, the average day, days on market is 77. If you're, if you're successful in the marketplace, your home's going to sell in 77 days. But what that doesn't tell you is all the homes that didn't sell. Now, what marketplace is the hottest right now? Well, $500 to $600,000. That's the hottest price range in the Wenatchee Valley. That's where the most homes sell. Um, 16 homes sell a month in that price range. Above that, 600 to 700,000. 10 homes sell a month in that price range. It's still a seller's market, just barely, just barely. But as you start getting into 900 and above, 900 and above, it's a buyer's market. And I think it's even more of a buyer's market than it's telling us because a lot of those canceled and expireds were in price ranges in the 900 million, million two, million five. Remember, if you watched some of my earlier videos, I was shocked at how many million dollar homes were on the market. Well, guess what? A lot of them didn't sell. There were too many of them and not a lot of people were buying million dollar homes. So that's softening up quite a bit quite a bit. So just pay attention to that. 
Now, the question that I have for you is, what would it take for you to decide to sell a home? What would it take? What would have to happen in your life for you to decide to sell your home? Is it because other people are selling their homes? Is it because you made that decision and you want to change your floor plan or get a better location? Or is it that interest rates went down and so now that you, you know, the lock-in effect, you have a 3% interest rate, you know, I can sell and get a 4% and I'm okay with that. I can stomach that to make a move. Is that what you're waiting for? What are you truly waiting for to sell your house? Because I know what will happen, right? What will happen is this. Inventory will continue to rise to the point in which the average sales price is going to start going down. Homes will depreciate. I don't know when. In fact, I was just talking to someone on the phone and, and he said, you're probably going to tell me prices are always going to go up. And I said, no, I'm not going to tell you that because I don't know the future. But I can tell you this, if inventory gets to a certain level, prices will go down. And when prices go down, some people are going to sell. It's a knee-jerk reaction. It's what the herd does every single time. And when some people start dumping their homes on the market, it's going to make it worse and worse and worse. And I don't think there's going to be like a housing crash, but there's going to be a, an adjustment to the mean. So are you going to wait until that happens? Logically, you say yes, but there's a difference between being scared of snakes and having a snake in your lap. But in the future, you're going to have a snake in your lap. It's going to feel a lot different knowing that your neighbor's house just listed for a lot less than you think your home is worth. Even though yours is better, that neighbor's house just sold for $450. And you think yours is worth $550, right? Reality is going to set in. And when it does, reach out to me because, you know, we will sell your home for the most money possible in the given situation. And that's my promise to everyone that we work with. So if you're thinking about selling your house or you want to know what your home's worth before the bottom falls out, give us a call, click a link, go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com or call us at 255-8070.